Come on, everybody. We will sing and shout. We will sing and shout. Open up our hearts and pour your praises out. We will sing and shout. We will sing and shout. Open up our hearts and pour your praises out. Shout! Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Jan, and I want to welcome you to Bethel's Junior Worship at Home. Today, we're going to head back to the New Testament for a story about Jesus. Jesus is what makes the New Testament new. Jesus comes to live with us on earth. We find the story in the book of Mark, chapter 2. Now, Mark is the second book in the New Testament, and because the story comes from God's Word, the Bible, we know that it is totally true. So let's find out what Jesus is up to today. What well, looks like we are in somebody's big backyard today. Do you have a big backyard to play in? Smooth it all out here. And there's the house. Now this is the house that Jesus stays in when he visits the village of Capernaum. And this is Jesus. Now everybody wants to see Jesus. They want to hear his stories. They want to learn from him. They just want to see him. So everywhere Jesus goes, Big crowds of people follow. And today, Jesus is teaching right here in the house. So here come the people. First, we have Jesus' disciples. They go with him everywhere because they are learning from him and they want to be like him. So let's go ahead and put our disciples in here. And then we have people from the village. We have women who are coming. Put some women in here. And, of course, the women are going to bring their children. Children love to be with Jesus, and Jesus loves to be with children. And then we've got poor people, rich people, sick people, and just common workers. They are all coming to see Jesus. My goodness, that house is full. There isn't room for anyone else except for you and me. But uh-oh, four more men are coming. One, two, three, four. And they are bringing their friend. And their friend is sick. In fact, their friend is paralyzed. Now, I wonder if you know what it means to be paralyzed. When someone is paralyzed, they can't move their arms, they can't move their legs, they can't move anything. So let's get a little idea of what that's like. When I count to three, I want you to put your hands right next to your side, put your legs together, legs and feet together, and don't move until I tell you to. So are you ready? One, two, three. Now if a friend offered you an ice cream cone, you couldn't eat it unless they held it for you. If your nose started to itch, you couldn't scratch it. If a bee started to buzz around you, you couldn't swat him away. And if it started to rain, well, you'll just get wet because you can't move. Being paralyzed is very hard. And it's not just for a little while. It's for always. Now, you can go ahead and move. Well, the four men had brought their friend because they heard that Jesus could make sick people well. But how are they going to get their friend to Jesus? The house is so crowded, they'll never get inside. But they care way too much about their friend to stop now. And so they begin to think, and think, and think, and then they have an idea. They notice that there are stairs that lead to the roof of the house. A lot of houses back then had stairs on the outside, and so they gently carry their friend up to the rooftops. Let's put our friend up here, put some of our friends up here. And then they work together to dig a hole in the roof. Can you help them? Can you dig too? Dig, 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 dig. Now that's a hole. And then very gently, they let their friend down into the room where Jesus is teaching, right in front of Jesus. Okay, let's get this all straightened here. Down they go. Well, the people in the room were like, what's going on? But Jesus was so pleased to see how much these four men cared about their friend. And he said to the man, Son, 
Every wrong thing you have ever done is forgiven. Stand up, pick up your mat, and head on home. And for the first time ever, the man could feel his legs. He could feel his feet. He could feel his toes. Can you wiggle your toes? He could feel tingling in his fingers. Can you wiggle your fingers? The muscles in his legs got stronger, and he felt like he needed to stand up. And for the first time ever, the paralyzed man stood. With his brand new arms, he picked up his mat, and he took his very first step. And then another step, and another step, and before you knew it, the man was running home. I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. Well, the people were amazed. They had never seen anything like this. Jesus was able to do a great miracle that day because four friends cared about a hurt man. Jesus wants us to care about everybody. Jesus wants us to tell our friends about him. That's what friends do. Friends tell friends about Jesus. We want our friends to know that Jesus loves them too. So who can you tell about Jesus today? Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he loves us. Help us tell all our friends that he loves them too. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everybody. Let's do our closing rhyme together. Are you ready? The wind tells me, the birds tell me, the Bible tells me too, how much our Father loves us all, and now I'm telling you. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time for another totally true story from God's Word, the Bible.